Hello everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up my eye tracking plugin for XS Tune that releases today on my Patreon. Um, it will cover very quickly how to set up most MMD style models to uh, conform to my style of eye tracking. It will also briefly cover um, what each setting does with uh, the eye tracking shader. There are three prerequisites to using the shader. The first one being your eyes must be on a separate material. The second being your texture must be set up similar to this. And the third being you must be on the latest version of XS Tune, version 2.2.1. So to get started, the first thing you'll need to do is uh, go into Blender, go into edit mode on your mesh, and get rid of the default eyes that come on your model. They'll most likely be set up like this as circular planes uh, with a concave um, kind of thing for the back of the eyes. And we're going to leave the concave thing and get rid of these two planes. So to select these, you can just shift click one of the vertices on either plane and then hit control L and that will select everything and then just hit delete and delete vertices. Um, the next step will be to hold Alt and right click this ring around the eyes, um, only on one side. Hit Shift D to duplicate it. Hit P and separate by selection. I go ahead and go back into object mode and you'll have a new object here that you can go into edit mode on. Um, the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is remove all of these shape keys because we don't want it to be a skinned mesh renderer. Um, so you can just do that by going to this little icon down here with the mesh selected, uh, hit this little drop down arrow, and uh, hit delete all shape keys. Once you've deleted all of the shape keys, uh, go ahead and go to the, the modifier tab and add a mirror modifier. and if you still have an armature modifier here, delete it because we're not going to be using it. Now that you have this ring of vertices, um, what we're going to do is go ahead and, and uh, just fill in all of this stuff so that you have a bunch of quads. So select four vertices, fill it, select four vertices, fill it, until you have a bunch of vertical quads. Um, I recommend that you pull these back just slightly so that when your character blinks, uh, you don't see the eye kind of poking through the mesh. I pull it back about this far and then I scale it up just slightly. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead and go into your UV editor and unwrap your new mesh. It's going to look really bad at first. So what I would recommend doing is actually going into front orthographic view. Uh, you can do that by hitting one on your number pad. Hit U and hit project from view. Uh, your eyes UVs might end up somewhere up here. That's fine. Just grab them and uh, kind of pull them down here. And just scale and move this until your eyes look like they're about in the right spot. Um, don't worry about the left and right being mirrored, as the shader will compensate for that. Let's just get it looking like the, the irises are in the correct spot, and you'll be good to go. The next step would be to export your armature and main model. Uh, to Unity, and once you do that, you'll end up in Unity with your model without eyes. That's fine. Um, then export your mesh here, apply the mirror modifier, and export your mesh here as a separate mesh, um, as underscore eyes or something like that. And make sure that you have the same exact export settings as you did for your original model. And then we go over to Unity. So now I have my eye mesh here, and it doesn't have a material. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and drag it into Unity here, and you'll notice that 
it is indeed in the right spot. So once you've done that, you'll go ahead and make a new material and just drop it onto here. And at this point, you probably don't have the plugin for the eye tracking imported. So go ahead and drag that zip that you got from the Patreon uh, into the main plugins folder and just extract it right there. So then you will have a Patreon folder within the plugins folder. And within that, there will be eye tracking and then a few files or a few folders with files in them. So once you have that done, go ahead and go to this new material that you made for your eyes. Navigate to my name, Tune 2.0, Patreon, and Tune 2.0 eye tracking. And then go ahead and assign your eye texture. Um, now there's one thing that you'll need to make sure of, and that it's your eye texture has the wrap mode set to clamp, and that the uh, alpha's transparency is set, and your texture must have a transparent background. Um, so once that's done, go ahead and hit apply. And you should immediately start to notice that your eyes will be moving around a little bit. Within the material, you'll have your eye tracking settings, which manually allow you to adjust the up and down, the left and right, your attention span, follow power, look speed, and refocus frequency, along with the scale of your iris, four gestures, um, the follow limit, which is just an angle limit, and the offset limit. So the attention span um, works by this number here. And what this means is that it will only spend 20% of the time looking at its target, whereas an attention span of one means that it would always be looking at the target. So if you really wanna freak people out, just set it to one and set the follow power to one, and now you will never look away from people. Look speed controls how fast the eye shifts from following a target to not following a target. So at a look speed of 0.5, um, once the eyes unfocus, uh, it just controls how fast it transitions between those two things. Like so. I normally keep my look speed pretty high, like 0.9, as it looks a little bit more natural than slowly shifting. Refocus frequency controls how often the micro movements of the eye fire off. So you notice as you slide this slider around, the eyes jiggle, and that is because it's controlling how fast the eyes look around uh, or refocus along the target that they're currently looking at. Iris size is just here so that you can have your crazy face gestures. Follow limit limits the angle from the front of the face at which the eyes will continue to track. So at a limit of zero, they will not have any limit and will continue to track even when I'm all the way over here. You can see that they're still looking at me and as I shift this way, they're still looking at me. If I adjust this follow limit up a little bit, you'll notice that as I adjust it up, that angle gets smaller and they continue to look forward. But as soon as I get within the correct angle, it'll start tracking me again. The offset limit just controls how far over the eye is allowed to go to the side of the iris on either side. So if we crank that follow limit down so that it continues to follow me and adjust the offset limit, you'll notice that now the eyes will no longer go into the corner, but stop here. They're still tracking me, but they're only allowed to go that far. Whereas if I do this, they're allowed to go a little bit further. And that's pretty much it. Once you're done setting up your material, just take your eyes and reparent them to your head and you're all done.